What's up, guys? We are back at you from the land down under. Now, I've been pretty sick these last, I don't know, three or four days. So if I sound a little off or kind of stuffy, I'm just kind of getting over, I don't know what it was. One COVID tested po- uh, negative, sorry, about two or three times. So I don't think it was that, but it's definitely a little nasty bug I had. So uh, yeah, just getting over that. And I did want to hit on this. So I saw this article. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you may not. And this, uh, originally I saw this on Fox News, but this is a Daily Mail article I'm going to read to you. And what it's talking about is there's a co-op house, uh, a POC housing development uh, set up by California Berkeley or students at the University of California Berkeley for people of color. And they have in their rules... Again, it's a co-op, and that's important. I'll tell you why here in a second. But uh, they have banned white people. Now, I'm going to read the article, and I'm going to just go through and kind of comment on this. So it says, An off-campus co-op for students at the University of California, Berkeley, named the Person of Color Theme House, has banned white guests from entering common areas of the house. A list of rules revealed that occupants were told many POC moved here to be able to avoid white violence in presence, so respect their decision of avoidance if you bring white guests. While the student house aims to have an inclusive environment, the rules specifically state white guests are not allowed in common spaces, according to the list which has posted on Reddit. The accommodation which is located close to Berkeley's campus, is a five-story, 30-room home that can house up to 56 students. The house is owned by a private landlord. Again, that aspect is important here in a second, too. But the rules, which were leaked on social media, have caused outrage, which many people have slammed restrictions as racist as others came forward and revealed their experience living in the co-op. One mixed race Reddit user who claimed to have lived in the house said that their presence as a light skinned person was not revealed well or was not received well. Sorry. They said house members called them slurs and they even were not allowed to uh, bring their white parents into the house. So the reason I said that the co op part of that was interesting. While I'm on TikTok, something that is consistent among my uh, communist rivals or socialist rivals is discussing how co-ops are extremely beneficial and how we could have a society full of co-ops. They love co-ops, even though co-ops are for profit and they are for competition. They are all about co-ops. I would imagine, especially with this being uh, with the University of California, Berkeley, that the majority of the people involved in this housing development are Marxist, which means that they pride themselves on being extremely inclusive of everybody. They also, I guarantee you, oppose private landlords, which is ironic that the house has a private landlord. It's not really a co-op as it is. So they claim it's a co-op. They're not very inclusive. Uh, And to even go further into this, the house was set up as part of a Berkeley student cooperative, a program designed to be to bring affordable housing to students in California's Bay Area and aims to provide housing to low income, first generation immigrant and marginalized students of color. So, okay, the marginalized students of color. Great. But they act like only people of color. And I hate using that term, uh, but minorities are low-income first-generation immigrants. Like, white people can't be a low-income first-generation immigrant as well. Furthermore, according to the rules, people that live there should avoid bringing parents and family members that express bigotry because queer, black, and indigenous members should not have to avoid common spaces because the homophobic and racist parents and family members. There it is. Okay. Queer, black, and indigenous members should not have to avoid common spaces because of homophobic or racist parents and family members. First of all, if you don't like queer people, you're not racist. At least not by their definition, right? Furthermore, I looked up a statistic. I believe it's like 72% 
of the queer community is white. So they have to throw in the queer part to, to make it seem like they are inclusive of everybody, but they're not because they've actually cut out 72% of one of the demographics that they are planning or, you know, apparently representing. This is why it's a joke. This is why Marxism is a joke. This is why these communists or socialists, especially at the university level, are just plain idiots, in my opinion. Just plain idiots. Because they want to pride themselves on how inclusive they are, but they are not inclusive. In fact, they want to not be inclusive of the vast majority of the population. Even when a lot of that population uh, is a part of the demographics that they say they represent in the form of the LGBTQ community. But yet, me as a conservative is the one who is apparently homophobic or racist, or, and, and I'm not doing anything like this. In fact, I, I, anyone is allowed into my house at any point in time. I don't care. I accept everybody. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I just want to end this by saying this. I, as much as I disagree with this article... This is a privately owned housing uh, development, whatever you want to call it. And unless it's funded by government money, by my tax money, they have the freedom to do whatever they want, whether I like it or not, whether you like it or not. If they don't want to let white people in their house, then they don't have to let white people in their house. This isn't a housing uh, plan on actually on the campus of Berkeley. This is off campus. It's owned by a private entity. They say co-op, but it's owned by a private entity. Again, is it right or wrong as you may think it is? They have the freedom to do so. And they're, honestly, that's their choice and that's their right. I don't have to agree with it. You don't have to agree with it. Fox News doesn't have to agree with it. And neither does Daily Mail. They should be allowed to do what they want to do with their property, no matter how stupid it is. It does make them look foolish, though, especially when you're going to say that you are all-inclusive of everybody and you're not. You don't see conservative housing or houses owned by conservatives with conservative landlords doing anything like this. Why? Because someone who is a true capitalist or free market, uh, they, this is why it's a joke, okay? Let me track back here because it's funny when they say that capitalism needs the poor people. They need to keep people poor to have true capitalism. That's false. Because a free market, all right, in capitalism, and the want to earn a profit means that you need a more of a market. What it the only way capitalism can actually strive is if you have people that are able to participate in the market. So why would I want people to be poor? I would want people to be wealthier so that they can go and buy my products and my services that I'm offering in the free market. It's, it's a very backwards misconception that, that Marxists have of life in general and of the free market society in general and of capitalism in general. And this right here is just kind of my take on this article because, again, I feel very comfortable saying that I bet you they're all Marxists. And it just goes to show that the true bigots of the world are the ones who are calling everyone else a bigot. So, again, we'll be back on uh, all this week. Hit like, share the video. Uh, As you can see, the video quality is getting better. Got some new cameras, got some new mics. We are down under right now, so I'm not back at my actual studio. So the production value will get even better when I get back. However, uh, you know, we're trying to invest in this thing and get it going. Uh, and trying to grow the message. So I appreciate it, and we will see you guys tomorrow.